means that the structure of mind of the universe is the same. In mathematics, it's a bridge between the two. <coughs> and something more to say about intuition and mathematics. For example, to marketing food products, you will notice that they say 85% fat-free. They never say 15% fat. Although, 85% fat-free and 15% fat are one and the same thing. It is because our mind reacts intuitively. And 85% fat-free appears to our mind more than 15% fat. Although mathematically, both are the same. Mathematics says that both these phenomena are the same. But our intuition says otherwise. So again, mathematics bridges the gap between our false intuition and reality. Now, this phenomena of mathematics conforming to the laws of the universe is not limited to physics itself. It applies to any complex system. And web, worldwide web, is a complex system. So there's got to be mathematical laws governing those complex systems. And the poster boy of mathematics which brought math to the forefront in the web is Google. Google gave that algorithm is a mathematical algorithm which gives you relevant search queries and, 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 the, and the results of Google page and algorithm are much superior than any other search algorithm because they use higher mathematics. And one of the notable points to note is that the mathematics they use was developed 100 years ago. They're not using any cutting edge mathematics. They use stuff like marble, chain, power laws, stuff like that. It was invented 100 years ago. So we are seeing, seeing that the web has yet to catch up with mathematics. It's not that. I mean, we don't have to discover some new laws in mathematics. Things are already there. But the world by death has to catch up with that. So many people might be saying that this is a death of internet and blah blah blah. But I see a very bright future. Because a new era can be can manifest if we apply mathematical law to the web. And recently I read a news that Fear 2 is a, a video game. And uh, you know so it applies chip algorithms for uh, uh, path detection and some artificial intelligence. And that map, the paper on, on which the base is written, is 38 years old. So, so, the thing to note is that whatever we discover in physics, or whatever we, we are going to discover in worldwide web is already there in the mathematical structure. It's already there. You don't have to discover it. You just have to go back to mathematics. And I have found that if you just study the law of mathematics, you will find any regularity in physics and even in your own life. For example, if you look at this graph, Okay, can you, if you look at this graph, this is called the local maximum. It, this is the highest point as compared to its neighbor. But this maxima is not more than the global maximum. So, if you want to reach a global maximum, you have to go through a bit. Now, this phenomena is principally observed in thermodynamics and most of the other physical laws that to reach the global maximum from the local maximum you have to pass through a dip and generally
Similarly also, I have found that the story of success is like this. If you want to go a level up, you have got to go through that thing. If you are working a 9 to 5 job and you want to create a totally different value in your life, maybe you have to leave your job. And if you leave your job, you just have to go through the thing. You struggle, you won't be making as much as you were making on a job. But if you persist, then definitely your life will be much more into your liking. So even the laws of success are like that defined by mathematical phenomena which we principally observe in nature. So this is kind of like law of nature. So we see a couple of things. First thing is that mathematics is applied in physical science, sciences and is totally successful in dealing with that. Now there are two new things which are happening. The first thing is psychology. Means the structure of our mind and how do we enhance it and stuff like that. I'm saying that mathematics can help there too. Because mathematics is basically a symbolic representation of the structure of our mind. And the second thing is worldwide web. Worldwide web is actually a very new phenomenon. The complexity it's just getting more dense. It's not going anywhere. So to exploit that complexity, the full force of mathematics is yet to come. So the revolution has yet to begun. And whatever path or whatever you see, I think it's a case of a dip from where you go to, from local maxima to the global maxima. So this thing, nowadays there is more demand of solid technology of more proven concepts unlike the, in the boom where you know like it was easy to make money. So I think, I think that now previously we were here in the world I bet right now we are here somewhere and then we are going to be here. <laughs>